Hey, this is Tyler Thraxofish. Welcome back to another fish update. The first update is on the aquarium room itself. I got a new rack set up. In the future, I would love to switch out the other racks I have for ones like this. I already got two of the tanks moved to the new rack, the first of which would be our male bed on Neptune. He's been moved into this new tank for a couple weeks now, but hasn't been doing too much better, so I'm going to be continuing his daily water changes. The next update is on the 30 gallon. After the small stock change, the programming has been bullying the new cichlids into staying in their own corners. I've had a few suggestions on how to fix this, so we're going to give it a shot. I got them acclimated to the water temperature for about 15 minutes and then started to get them put in. Then I gave the tanks a stress coat and got the light turned off to help them adjust. It's now the next day and this is what we got, some black skirt tetras. I ended up getting 5 but now I only see 4 so I think the Bashir might have ate one. But other than that, it seems to be working. For the first time ever I've seen the cichlids swim right next to the programming and they've been swimming all around the tank exploring. The goal with doing this is to slightly overstock the tank to divert the male aggression with a small group of these medium sized tetras. And on top of that our angelfish butters has been healing up really great. As of these clips here it's been a week and they've been doing really good now. I was also able to take out some of the hair grass and replant it around the tank because that's been growing a lot. The next update is on the guppy tank, we have some male aggression in here as well. You can see here that the white guppy has a couple nips on his fins. And same with the yellow one here. This aggression has been happening because the female's pregnant, so I got her taken out and put in the 2.5 gal that's been set up for a few weeks now. On top of that, I got the orange guppy put in the 6 gal curve tank so we can try to split up some of the males. And I gave them all some stress coat as well. But unfortunately, after a couple days, the orange guppy didn't take to the tank. I'll also have to keep an eye on the white and yellow one as well. I gave them some aquarium salt to help heal and then we're going to be putting in a couple new fish. I got them acclimated to the water temperature for 15 minutes and then started to get them put in. These are black bar endlers that I got from my friend Derek. They're a little bit different than the other endler I had but their colorations are awesome. Now back to the female guppy. It's been a week since I put her in here and she's been doing great. She even started trailing the surface of the water so I knew she was going to give birth soon. But unfortunately I woke up the next day and she had complications giving birth and passed away. I've seen this happen to other people and it absolutely broke my heart. Not only was she a beautiful guppy but she was my first fish I got to breed so it just hits different. This is by far the worst part of fish keeping and I just wish I could have done more. Our last update is on the female bed of tank. I got a small school of 7 cardinal tetras and they've been doing great in here. This has been her tank for a long time so when I first put them in here she wasn't having it. But within about an hour she had given up on it. Not only are they too fast for her but they're even too big to fit in her mouth. Many people don't know that there are some fish that can go good with bettas but you have to do your research and do it right. They've been in here a week now and doing extremely well. That's going to be all for this fish update. Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for all the support. Have a good one. I'll see you next Sunday.